along with me is Glenn Becker, who I think is the key to the Chicago Cup pennant hopes next year. Glenn, you're having a fine season. You're hitting 294 right now, I believe. You're, you don't know, swing for the long ball. I understand when you hit a home run, you start thinking you're Babe Ruth. Well, it's one of those things, Greg. Uh, uh, there's a lot of guys in the, in the big leagues that I think are going to come around to uh, thinking have a little more of the way I think of their plate. Uh, I'm talking about the fellows that don't have the power. You know, they might hit 10 or 12 home runs a year uh, and hit 220. I figure if uh, I could probably hit uh, 10, 12, maybe 13, 14 home runs, but uh, I would sacrifice on my average. Therefore, I I'd be hurting the ball club. Uh, I pride myself on scoring a lot of runs every year and hitting in the 280s, 290s, uh, and getting on base for the big fellows on our club, Billy Williams and uh, Banks and Sano. These are the fellows that are going to drive me in. You hit behind the runner a lot, right? Well, it's the thing. Uh, I like to hit, hit behind the runner. You mean uh, hitting a lot to right field uh, with a man on first. Uh, you'll find that it's, it's hard for them to get a double play even though you hit the ball on the ground. And a lot of times you get the man to second if you don't get a base hit, and then you have a man in scoring position. And uh, you play this game one run at a time, so uh, when you advance a runner, you're helping the club. Just how much do you and Don Kessinger have to work on the double play combination? Well, this is, uh, you, we work every day a little bit uh, taking throws, especially uh, you concentrate on in spring training. You work uh, probably an hour and a half each day uh, just on this one thing, double plays. Uh, but it's something that you don't develop overnight. It takes a year or so uh, to play together more than, uh, say, two, three years to really know each other. And uh, we're finally getting to this. What will you be working on in Scottsdale, Arizona? Do you think there will be any changes made in the club lineup next year or trades or anything like that? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, see what the expansion. We're going to lose some players. Uh, every organization is going to lose uh, possibly three or four of their top players. Uh, not only on their parent club, but also in their organization. We're going to have to wait and see what trades, along with the expansion, who we lose. Uh, but uh, we still have the nucleus here. Uh, you're able to protect 15 ball players, and that's, that's the nucleus of the Cubs. Now, the Cubs got off to a slow start, and I know they'd be right, right in there fighting for that pennant if they didn't get off to such of a slow start. What was the problem there? Well, the, uh, we, it's one of those things. We just couldn't get our pitching. Uh, we get pitching one day, and lose one nothing, then the next day we bounce around, score eight or nine runs, and still lose. Uh, it's a thing of gelling together and getting a little momentum. We didn't uh, we didn't attain this till right around the All-Star break, and we started to roll real good. But unfortunately, uh, the Cardinals were rolling a little bit better there at one time. Uh, I know we were 26 and uh, 7, and they were 23 and 3. So they were putting, while we were winning, they were putting distance in between. This was a big thing. It just seems a lot of times in the beginning of the season, your bat just wouldn't get runs when Ferguson Jenkins was pitching. He was pitching real great ball. They know he lost a lot of one to nothing games. Right. Well, not only Fergie, uh, Hands and uh, Nico lost uh, some tough games. Uh, Especially Fargy lost four or five one nothing games. These are the games that hurt you when you lose one nothing. Well, what about a Adolfo Phillips? Now the man has all sorts of kinds of talent, but it just seems that he just doesn't put it to use. Well, is it his attitude or? No, uh, Adolfo has a, he has a good attitude. Uh, just one of those things that has a lot of ability, and I think you're going to find that uh, once Adolfo matures a little bit, uh, he's starting now. Does he get down on uh, himself? Well, everybody. Uh, you, you're only human. Some players get down on themselves more than others. Uh, I got down on myself every now and then when I'm in a slump. But you have to kick yourself. And I think this is what Dahl's learning to do now. He's not having a real good year, but he's uh, always looking. He's always in there battling and trying. I look for Dahl to have a great, a great season in, in uh, one of these years to I come. I certainly hope so because I think he's could be another Willie Mays. Mr. Becker, just what is probably the hardest play for a second baseman to make? Well, without a doubt, the. Uh, uh, the double play is uh, is the big uh, play at se is second baseman. Uh, the play personally for me is the ball up the middle. Uh, we have to go behind second and throw to first. This is uh, I was nothing but a shortstop and a, and a third baseman uh, in the minor leagues, and they converted me when I was in the big leagues to a second baseman. And this play is still my toughest. When you go into a slump, you try all sorts of different stances at the plate. Just how much does this help you out? Well, uh, uh, I'll change. I'll make changes up at the plate. Uh, might be standing too close to play too far away, but uh, and then I'll switch bats. Uh, anything to try to uh, uh, get back in the timing. Hitting is nothing but a, a mental attitude and uh, a timing up at the play. Once you have the timing, you develop the mental attitude. Uh, you're going to you're going to hit the ball. I think the Cubs would be right up there if it was for Ryan Sandler. He's having kind of a poor season. You think he'll 
come out of it next year. I know he's yeah, a much better ball player than what he's been doing. Uh, you, you talk about uh, everybody's uh, down on Ronnie. He's not having one of the seasons that uh, he's had previously, but he's, uh, I think, third in the in the league in RBIs, and this is Ronnie's job. Although his average isn't up, uh, uh, he's not having that bad a year as everybody expects. Of course, when you have a lifetime 300 average, uh, everybody thinks that uh, you got to hit 300 every year, and it's not that not the case. You can't. I don't care the way the game is now. You're not, you're not going to be a 300 hitter every year. You have to be lucky to hit 300. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Quinn. I appreciate it very much.